Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can reduce distractions in Microsoft Outlook. Now Microsoft Outlook is a fantastic email tool, but with it comes many distractions, and today I wanna to show you how you can tame and reduce some of those distractions. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now what do I mean by distractions in Outlook? Well, let's say that you're in a Teams meeting presenting, and then you get that new email bell. Yep, that's the one, I'm sure many of you have heard that before. Or let's say that you're in a spreadsheet and you have good focus time, you're running through a bunch of calculations, and then you get that new message notification appear in the bottom right hand corner, and yeah, it's just begging for you to click on it and look at that message to see you know, what else needs your attention. And then another example, you open your inbox and it's just overflowing with email, all of it screaming for your attention, even though probably only a fraction of it needs you to look at it. Well, I'm gonna show you how you could regain some control over Microsoft Outlook so you have more time to focus. When I first started at Microsoft in my career, Microsoft Outlook inundated me with lots of notifications and lots of clutter that I really didn't care about and I applied many of these different techniques to regain control over my outlook, and as a result of that, I feel like I've been a lot more productive. All right, well, enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC, and I'll show you how you can regain some control. Here I am on my desktop, and I am in Outlook, and this is the version of Outlook that comes with Microsoft 365, and this is the Windows desktop app. So what I wanna show you how to do first is to stop Outlook from playing a sound, changing your mouse pointer, showing an envelope in the taskbar, and displaying a desktop alert every time you get a new email message. We all get far too many email messages to be notified about every single one. So what we're gonna do is, first thing is, we're gonna navigate up to the top left-hand corner and click on the File menu. And within the File menu, what we wanna do is scroll down to the option here that says Options. And let's click into Options. And all of these different notifications and sounds, they are the result of an email. And what we wanna do then is here on the Options on the side, we wanna click on the one that says Mail. And as we look down the screen towards the bottom without even needing to scroll, there's an option that says message arrival. And what it says is when a new message arrives, play a sound. Let's turn that off. I don't wanna get a sound every time an email arrives. There's also an option that says briefly change the mouse pointer. Let's also turn that off. That's also distracting. Show an envelope icon in the taskbar. Let's go ahead and turn that off as well. And then there's also display a desktop alert. That's a notification message that pops up in the bottom right hand corner. Let's also go ahead and turn this off. This will eliminate many of the distractions that originate from Microsoft Outlook. Now, you might be wondering, well, hey Kevin, you know, what if someone important sends me a message and I want to have a sound play or I want to have an envelope icon? Can I still get that? Well, what we could do is we could turn it on for certain individuals or certain mailing lists so you still get alerted to it. But what this will do right now by default, this applies to any email that comes to your inbox. And if you're getting, let's say, 150, 200 emails a day, this is simply overwhelming. So why don't we go ahead? We're going to turn these off. And this is our first step to reducing some of the distractions in Microsoft Outlook. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and those settings will now take effect. Now the second way I wanna show you how you could regain some focus time is when you have Outlook, one of the things that I'm always tempted by, let's say I'm working in a spreadsheet, maybe I'm working on a Word document, I'm always tempted to open Outlook and then see what new emails have arrived in my inbox. Now one way to eliminate that urge and to help you focus is to simply turn Outlook off. Now you could close the app altogether, but maybe you still wanna reference email that you already know is there. And what I recommend doing is if we go up here in the ribbon again and we click on Send Receive, there's an option to work offline. Now I use this a lot when I want dedicated focus time. When you click on work offline, what will happen is Outlook continues to stay open, you're still able to look at any messages that have already arrived, but by working offline, Outlook no longer connects to the email service. So whether you're using Exchange or Gmail or Outlook.com, whatever email service you happen to be using, Outlook will no longer check for new messages. By working offline, you also won't be able to send emails and what it'll help you do is this way you won't be distracted by email. Now one thing you can do though is once you're done with your focus time, 
you could come right back into Outlook and then you could uncheck or untoggle this work offline and then it'll connect back to the email server and it'll start checking for any new messages that have arrived. Now one good practice that you could do is maybe you only check email in the morning, let's say from 9 to 10, and then maybe you check email again at the end of the workday from 4 to 5, and then anywhere in between you could turn on work offline and that way you don't have that urge or that need to check Outlook to see what new messages have come in. The last thing I want to show you how to do is how you could regain some control over your inbox. And you see here, I have a lot of messages within my inbox. And what I want to do is not all of these messages need my attention. When I scroll, when I look down here in my email messages, I'll see that I'm part of this newsletter for the Windows Insider program. Now, it's kind of interesting to look at, but I don't need this popping up directly in my inbox. And this is where rules come in. What we could do is we could create rules that define what should happen to this email message when it lands in my inbox. So perhaps I don't need this in my inbox and instead maybe I put it into a newsletter folder so when I have some free time, which isn't very often, I could go ahead and dig into that folder and look at it. So to create a rule, what we wanna do is simply highlight this message and then you could go up here on the ribbon, within the home view, and then we're gonna click on rules. And what I could do now is I could create a new rule from scratch, I could manage existing rules, or here it even offers two helpful options. One is to always move messages from Windows Insider program, or always move messages to kevstrat2 at outlook.com. So what, what I wanna do is this is a newsletter and it's always from Windows Insider program. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this rule suggestion. And what I see next is it now asks me where I want to move this message. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply click on the high level inbox here and I'm gonna go to new and then maybe I'm gonna create, let's say a new folder called newsletter. And now that I've had newsletters selected, I'm gonna click on OK. And what Outlook is gonna do is it's gonna take all the messages from the Windows Insider program and it's gonna automatically move them into my newsletters folder. So here I see all of these messages that were previously in my inbox have been now moved to this new folder called newsletters. And so I could just reference that whenever I want, but it's not cluttering up my inbox. Earlier we turned off all different notifications when a message comes in. So we turned off sounds, we turned off the notification that appears in the bottom right hand corner. But what if there's an important message that comes in that I need to pay attention to? For instance, let's say that the Kevin Stratford quality tech support, anytime they email me, I absolutely wanna see what their message is about. So what I can do is I'm gonna simply click on this message and just like we did before, I'm gonna go up to rules. And what I wanna do is let's create a new rule. So I'll click on that. And once I click on create rule, I see this prompt and what I could do is I can now configure this rule. So I could say that anytime I get a message from Kevin Stratford quality tech support, what I can do is I could display in the new item alert window. So this way I'll get an alert anytime this message comes in. And here once again, maybe I bring the sound back in because let's say you're a boss or someone important sends you a message, you wanna get a sound. And here I can even hear what that sound sounds like. Okay, well that sounds great and that will get my attention. So what I can do now is I'm gonna click on okay. And here it says the rule has been created. It's a client only rule, meaning that if I'm, if I'm on another PC or I don't have Outlook running, I won't hear that sound and I won't get that notification, but that's okay because I'll have Outlook running in the background. And now I'm gonna click on okay. If I jump to my desktop, here I see a new mail alert and I see that I have an email from Kevin Quality Tech Support and I have two of them and I could very quickly click into it and then I could view that item. So this is the new mail alert that I got because I set up this rule. The last thing I wanna show is how you can set up more advanced rules to also regain control of your Outlook inbox. And to do that, once again, what we're gonna do is go up to the home pivot here, and then I'm on the ribbon, I'm gonna go over to rules. So I'm gonna click on rules, go back to create rule, and this screen or this dialogue looks very similar to what we just saw. Now, the controls that you see within this dialogue are probably the controls that 80, 90% of people use, but let's say that you wanna apply a slightly different rule that these settings don't capture. What you can do is click into advanced options. I'll go ahead and click in. Now within advanced options, you have full control over what Outlook does to emails that come in into your inbox. 
Now at first, this might appear somewhat intimidating. There are lots of different options here, but let's walk through it together and hopefully I can make it a little easier to understand so you could get the full power of Outlook rules. Now, what a rule is, the first step here, it says, which condition do you want to check? Basically what this means is when you receive an email message, what has to be true as part of that email message? So just some examples that I'm looking at here. So it could be from a certain individual, it could have a certain subject, or maybe it's sent to a certain person, maybe it's only sent to me, or maybe it's marked as important. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's just check that, and I could sit here if I click on the blue text down here, this will allow me to then select what the importance level should be. And so maybe I wanna say, hey, if it's a highly important email message or it has high importance, let's do something special with it. So this is the characteristic of the email that we're looking for. And if we click on next, what now this is looking at is, if it's marked as high importance or the characteristic on the previous screen is true, what do we then do with that email message? And you can do all sorts of things, like maybe I move to a specified folder, I could assign a specific category, maybe I delete it. So here you can decide what you wanna do with it. So maybe if an email message is marked as very important, let's go ahead and print it, just so when I come to my computer, I have a printed copy of whatever is very important. Uh, and then let me click on next. Here I could look through and I could say, hey, are there any exceptions? And maybe I, what I wanna do here is if my name is in the CC box, maybe I only wanna print things that are very important and I'm on the two line, but not on the CC line. So here I could say if there are any exceptions that I wanna check for. And then once all this looks good, I could click on next. Here I could name the rule. Maybe I'll just leave the default name of high importance. And then I could say run this rule now on all my email messages that are already in my inbox. And I could either toggle on or off the rule. So maybe I wanna create the rule, but don't wanna activate it yet. I don't have to check this. But in this case, let me go ahead and check this. And once I'm all done here, I could review the rule that I just set up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on finish. And this message is now telling me that the rule will only run when I check email in Outlook. So if I don't have Outlook open, the rule won't run, which makes sense since it is Outlook that's powering these rules. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And now my custom rule is active. Now there are a lot of different options that you could select. Outlook really offers quite a bit of power to make sure that you're able to uh, filter and then act appropriately on any email messages that come in. All right, well that was a quick overview of how you can remove distractions in Microsoft Outlook. If you feel like this video helped you remove distractions in Microsoft Outlook, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, please leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.